Hey, this is Chirag. I am from Radical Tech Art. Today we have a product ATC 1200 which is widely used for serial to Ethernet and vice versa. We have a product with us. We are going to configure the device. So let's get started. So we have a product handy with us. This is our ATC 1200. We powered on this device with 12 volt DC. I connected this RS485 with the temperature sensor. We have a temperature indicator with us. This will show you the temperature, real time temperature. We have given the input on RS485. We connected this device with our laptop over the ethernet. So let's get started. Hey guys, so I connected my laptop over the ethernet to this AC ATC 1200 device. I have given 192, 168, 200 IP addressing in my laptop. Now I'm going to open up this device via the web browser. What I did, I just put in default IP which is 192.168.2.125. So I just type this IP addressing and hit enter. So we have the username and password. We have the default username and password admin and admin. So we are opening up this device with the default IP address and default username. You can give the any of the device name here. You need to select the board rate. We are going to select the board rate 9600 here. The data bits, the data parity, the stop bits, flow control. We are taking the inputs from R485. So we are choosing this RS485. Now you can configure this device over the DHCP. So either you can enable the DHCP or you can manually give the IP addressing. Here I have choose the static IP addresses which is the 192.168.125. I keep this IP as it is. I will not make any changes on this. You can also give the DNS. So this is the default DNS that's come with the device. I am going to uh, the keep the rest of the configuration as it is. The connection type is TCP. We have the transmit timer 100. So I will put this device as a server along with the 5000 listening port. Here you can type the client host IP addresses along with the port details. Now let's go to some advanced settings. Here if you want to upgrade or downgrade the firmware you can configure the TFTV server IP via this way you can upgrade or downgrade the firmware here if you wanted to send any alerts if the device or, or that the packet that exists the threshold value you can send the notification so here we have auto warning reports that start with cold start authentication failure if someone somebody's changed the IP addresses or the password was is changed so you can type the server um, IP addresses or the email addresses and then you can if you want to send free recipients here you can give the email ID here let's go to the security tab so here you can give the new username and you can change the password you can give the four IP addresses and once you do that you need to reload uh, you need to save and reload this device so thank you guys, we will move on to the use cases. So guys, we are going to install the software in our laptop. We simply open the website and find the ATC1200 device. If you look at the right hand side in the screen, we have the driver and softwares. Based on your device compatibility, you can go with 32-bit or 64-bit. Since we have a laptop of 64-bit, we have already downloaded the file and installed the software in our laptop. This is the software with us, so we are going to uh, choose the Ethernet IP addresses that we already given in our laptop. So I hit on continue, so the device, the, the software will get open with the networking Ethernet adapter. So we have a software with us we are going to search the device in that is in our network so we have the device with us handy with us now we are going to add the virtual serial port with us we have a com port one already in our laptop since we have already added you can also add the virtual port under the add and you can select the com port now we are going to 
configure the com port with the tcp control connection protocol mode client and you can put the remote host ip and the port number we are going to click on ok and we are going to connect this we can also monitor the trans and receive here with us we have a this is in the ideal position we are going to start this so this is connected now we have a mode bus pole and we are going to connect this so we have already configured the board rate data bits parity and stop bits so we will select the com port one and serial port here we are going to connect this now you can see we have the data with us you can see on the screen we have a, we have already done the setup here we have the temperature sensor which has a reflecting the temperature indicator now i am going to uh, increase the temperature with the blower if you look at the both of the screen the the, the temperature is keeps increasing on the channel number 0 so we have now 32.7 and now it is keep increasing 36.5 you can clearly see that on the temperature indicator and the mode bus pole software that it keep increasing so that way we can monitor the software we can monitor the temperature indicator we can measure the the the, the any of the sensor and we can showcase the output and we can via this way we can monitor as logging the sensors up down and based on that we can configure the threshold things so thank you guys keep watching thanks guys for watching this video if you have any query and concern please keep us posted we have a radicaltechmart.com if you want to buy this products please visit this thank you